What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been forever since the last upload, I think. Well, since the last video, you guys probably saw either the Tomei video or the POV of me driving in the canyons in Azusa. I'm still trying to get a better POV video out or trying to learn how to make those POV drive. But as you can see behind me today, the car is in the shop, which means we're doing something today. So since the last video, there's not much done to the M4 beside the Tomei exhaust. I actually swapped my TE37s with my younger brother. Uh, these are the two-tone um, pressed graphite. They're not formed this over, they're just dirty, which will wash my car here in a bit. I need to get them fixed because the previous owner before my young brother actually curved the wheel. Uh, other than that, the Tomei is still there. Not much has been changed, it's broken in. Actually sounds good. So I'm gonna try to do more POV drives so you guys can hear how the Tomei exhaust sounds like and actually do some flybys on a separate video because you guys kept asking for it. The last video of the tone made the mic blue, so now I actually figured out how to get proper mic audio so that you guys could hear how good this exhaust sounds. Other than that, swap out the new decal. So this is the Precision Dynamics new decal. If you guys want to cop them, there's four colorway. This is light blue chrome, so in different color. It reflects off white. It just goes with my blue calipers. We have red, yellow, white, and as well as light blue chrome. But enough talking about random stuff. We actually got a special part for the car, which I'll explain here later on. JQ Works, they are the one that sent me these paddles. These are magnetic paddles, which will change the game. I've been actually looking for these paddles for the longest time. I've always wanted magnetic paddles, but no one made them separately. So, which is cool because I almost spent $2,500 on some KMP steering wheel, which I would have loved but I like the OEM functions on the steering wheel. So without further ado, let me show you the JQ Works magnetic paddles. So on today's vlog, we're actually doing a little DIY, you could say, on how to install these magnetic paddles. I know there's a lot of videos out there for F8X paddles install, but today you're on my channel, I'll show you what I use and what I do take apart for you to get these paddles on. So for tools, I'm using all quarter inch drive. I have the electric ratchet, I have a T30 to remove the airbag, which I'll show you how to do. T20, T25, H2.5, and as well as a 10 mil to remove the battery terminal. So first thing first, twist this to the side so it unhooks. Yank this out like so. Pull it out. There you go. You have access to your 10 to the negative terminal which we will be removing. The reason why we're removing this is because I don't want the airbag to blow up in my face. Usually I do it with this on but for your guys' purposes to stick to how you're supposed to do it so we'll remove the negative terminal just so that the car has no power. Remove the airbag and then go forward from there. Just like that, negative terminals off, no power to the car, I'm safe, let's just turn this off so it doesn't overheat. So now we're gonna move forward for the airbag. So to remove the airbag, there's one hole here. There's another hole on the side, but you can't see it's still dark. I usually take this tool, kind of wedge myself in there and feel for the spring mechanism that holds the airbag. So you hold one side in, let me see if I can do it with one hand. So there, I got this side off. As you can see, there's a little gap right here. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, airbag's off. Just be careful, you're gonna loosen that harness right there. That's brown and gray. I'm gonna take it off real quick first. So I'm gonna stick my hand here just to show you guys where it's at. It is right here. Once you push down the tab, there you go. This whole thing should come apart. I actually set this aside. So I'm placing it on my passenger side. And you have a T20 here. 
then you also have a T20 in this rat's nest, which I gotta clean apart. The paddles come off, swap it, done dealio. I'll take off these trim just to make it easier to show you guys. So T20, T20, and there's a T20 behind here. Pull it off, you have access to the paddles and just remove it from there. Bam, three bolts. Just fire gently, like so, wiggle this off. Get that out. Now you have to center trim off, which gives you more axis. First I'm gonna do is yank this out and pull this two apart, like so. Shoot that off. I'm actually gonna install the magnetic paddles on the left side first, so you can see the difference between regular paddles versus magnetic paddle. Same thing, just push the spar back in. This is actually gonna use the H2.5 bolt, which is sitting right there, versus the T20. So I'm gonna align this in here, make sure it sits perfectly, bolt it down, connect it, show you guys the difference on how it sounds and why I went with this and then explain everything to you guys afterward. Ignore this mess, I'm still doing the right side here. So the difference between these paddles is, I can't really compare to these because these are paddle shifters. I love these to death, they're great, don't get me wrong. If you're looking for OEM upgrade, you can go with either paddle shifter or JQ Works. Paddle shifter is long, it's not flimsy like you guys saw in my stories before. It's great, solid, but the only downside is, you hear that? I love these paddles, but it's not fun. It's not engaging while you're driving. Now, magnetic paddles from JQ Works, listen. How cool is that? It's rewarding from down, up. It's great. They even send you the elongated version, which is like this. I'm actually gonna try this first because they're short. Let's see how they go. If I don't like it, it's simple. A couple screws to remove and you could swap these. And they are relatively the same size as my paddle shifters. So before you guys go, oh bro, it's too fucking short, it's too long. They give you the longer option. It's up to you. But check out this Bagani weave. I'm not selling this, I'm keeping this. This is one of two. But still, both paddles aren't great. One holds OEM function. The other one is magnetic. That's why we're installing these today. There. Finally got this little rat's nest area cleaned up. Paddle number two is in. This feels great. Like I said, I'm driving on the short paddles for now. If I want to make changes, I'll use a long paddle and modify them to my liking. But for now, I actually kind of like this. Airbag goes back on. Before I do that, gotta shoot everything back on. Airbag goes in. And then we could fire on the car. Negative terminal back on, shoot the 10 down, start it up, and see if it responds. So, airbag's back on. back on, fully seated. Okay. Good. Turn that off before we get censored. So everything works. Uh, so another thing that has been brought to my attention that a lot of you guys have been asking is what is going on with the RB26 project. Um, it's still going on, but with the adulting side of my life, this has been postponed until I deem that it's necessary. I'm planning on buying a house here maybe the beginning of the year also you know getting her a ring and then potentially talking about having kids next year so a lot is on my plate right now this is the least of my concern but regardless of the fact it's still sitting here at the shop i still want to do it i still want to complete it when i tell myself i'm going to do something i like to do it i don't like to contradict myself or tell myself i'm a failure um, that's why I wanted to do this project for a while, but just to update you guys, that's where I'm at right now. I'm just trying to do the adulting side, the growing up side, um, but it's still here. It's just sitting there, you know? It's here, 
I have a lot of things I still need to get for it. So then, it's sitting there. It's gonna sit there until I could find what I need to find. And I'll update you guys as far as more vlogs come out. So yeah, RB26 is still here. And that's all you guys need to know. I was gonna wash the car, get some B-rolls of it. I've done it before. I just like washing my car. As you can see, there's a lot of brake dust on there. But, unfortunately, there's no gas left in the pressure washer, meaning that I have to go get gas tomorrow to wash the car down. So, this is the end of the vlog. If you guys liked the video, please give a thumbs up, comment down below. I'll see you guys next time. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.